another day another video welcome back to the channel everybody today we are watching the originals this is episode 10 double digits mate of season three hopefully guys are enjoying the series so far last episode was great wasn't it actually i'm lying last episode wasn't great it's was absolutely unreal mate it was absolutely amazing literally no words can describe how good it was it was sick i absolutely loved it mate oh i've got to start with the main talking point of the episode is kami dead it looks like it i can't believe it mate you know we finally got the long awaited camille and uh klaus kiss and uh you know I, I don't know if they slept with each other, but they was definitely kissing and he was in bed and he was asleep and she woke up and she was looking at him and she was smiling and then we got like her kind of like you know like when you can you, you feel like a little vibe and like i, I thought oh there's a rover there and then like uh it turned, we didn't see her, and then we seen Aurora in the distance, and she's playing in the piano, and I was like, oh, is she is she in the the Michaelson's house?" And then she wasn't; she was she was in the place where Tristan taken her, and obviously uh, that's the place where she's been all day. And uh, you know, when we cut back to the bedroom, my God, mate, Klaus, he's got blood in his hands. He's turned Camille over. Her neck's absolutely slit pretty much from side from ear to ear mate and i do not know if she's dead or not and we've um devastated if she's dead i mean what a sick way to go from a jealous aurora uh, it's mad it's mad honestly last episode was absolutely amazing look at that twist right it was so shocking and uh it's really exciting now 100 percent do not want cammy to leave the the series no chance so i want her to be a vampire clearly because i feel like she's got to die being a human with those injuries mate really really bad injuries rebecca as well mate at the start of the episode so we're going from the end to the start now we started off with elijah he uh paid somebody to go to the coordinates to get rebecca out of the sea which they successfully done and he retrieved her, pulled the dagger out of her and uh, obviously they reunited and went back home well it turns out that this dagger is actually leaving like an imprint on them it's um you know it kind of poisoned her as well so it's kind of like a wolf bite you know like they've took it out of her and she's still infected and it's attacking her, it's changing her and you know it's, it's kind of affecting her personality her eyes was going black she was saying some mad stuff to Haley about uh you know like you don't want to be Michaelson, yeah. You want to blame us for everything that goes wrong in your life, but then when something needs you, uh, you need your help. You always want to be on our side. You want to be a Michaelson. Do you know what I mean? Make your mind up. Are you a friend? Are you a foe? Are you family? Oh, mate, sick. She was spitting fire, mate. If she was talking and she was a dragon, fire was flying everywhere. That's how good it was, mate. She was speaking facts, and then they ended up fighting, which was really good. She was trying to kill her. Uh, Elijah got in the way. She was still trying to attack her. Frey come running down. She said she knew how she she could um you know get the pain off um off rebecca take this curse off her because she was channeling finn which was mad you know like he was reluctant to do it but you know he uh he said that he'd help only for her because he could see how much like the family means to her and then uh, they, they, they made like this dagger that they had and i don't know spelled it anyway she ran down she like cut deep into her arm and like ripped the skin off and it seemed to have helped and it was like wow that was gore but it was sick claire holt's acting was absolutely amazing it was so good like i said uh facts was being spoken at the start of the episode as well um hayley she was saying to um what is it jackson she went to the bayou she was like look me i know that you wanted some time on your own but i expect you to come back by now you know i've never really had a normal christmas i just wanted it to be me and you and hope and we could spend it as a family together just come back and he said yeah but obviously on the way back, he seen obviously Freya, she was getting tailed. He, he followed them, they started to attack her. It was a straight because he was trying to kill her. He jumped in, he saved them, he killed them, chopped the heads off. Like I said, the gore is pretty decent now, actually. I don't know what's happened. Have they changed the time slot the show was on? I don't know. It's way better anyway. And uh, he saved Freya. He ended up saying to uh, obviously Hayley, he's like, look, I understand, you know, like, no matter what, if you want to be away from the family, you don't want to be involved, you have to jump in when you know somebody's being attacked. You know these people and and, um, you know, you're going to save them if someone comes after them. So I get it. I understand it. Respect that from Jackson. You know, like I say, he's kind of like, he's always the person running. And if he's going to actually stand and fight, I'm going to like it the way I'm liking Haley this season. I think she's been really, really good. But these people injected Freya with some poison and he's taken her out as well. So the, the, the Strix, man, they're not messing about, literally. They're going after everybody. They've got this, I don't know, you know that? magical mystical objects that lucium is getting cammy to get you know the the one that's got the dark spells on it they finally got that in their possession so they're going to try and use that against them um, against them they've got the new 
region, and that is Vincent, you know. Uh, Marcel was like, ah, he was antagonising him. He was, saying, he was kind of blaming him for what's happened to Davina, and he's blaming him for all this other stuff, and he flipped, and he went mad, and he, he smashed all the lights through his powers that he's been holding it in for time. And, uh, you know, I will become regent, but when I'm in charge, you're not going to like it. So I think he's going to come after the vampires as well. But it's interesting because obviously Tristan's come. He said, look, mate, you're going to be working for us. And if you're not, we're going to release the one witch that you're actually scared of. And that is Finn Michelson. And they're the ones that they have got for his necklace after attacking us. So again, very, very fascinating. Uh, Claire Holt, Rebecca, whatever. She, um, They were saying it's best if she leaves. You know, they think that she's still in the box and that is kind of their asset, so to speak. If they don't know she's back, they can't go after her and they can utilise her, Klaus and um, Elijah, when the time's needed. So she did leave. She said goodbyes after having, you know, like a, a nice Christmas dinner with Camille and obviously with Jackson, with Hayley and all that. She got the Christmas that she wanted, Hayley, you know, all the family around the tree and it was nice to see it. And he was throwing wishes inside the little, fi little fire pit as well when he said they always throw their wishes in and uh, hopefully they come true. Well, obviously Rebecca fled. At the end of the episode, she had to call Elijah. She come back. She was like, look, mate, I was halfway towards the airport. I felt like I wanted to go and kill the taxi driver. Do you know why? Boom, the mark is back. She said, the only way that I can actually ensure my safety and ensure I don't kill anyone else is if you actually take me out. She said, if you take me out right now, you're fulfilling some part of the prophecy, one by family, and then we've only got a friend and foe to worry about. So just do it, Elijah. Take me out. I'm not going to blame you. It needs to be done. And uh, at least we could box this one off. And he did. Boom, reluctantly, he took her out. So that is Rebecca Down got two more left to go i'm really obviously excited this cami thing is pff, got my head it's like pff, blown me i'm so excited so i'm going to jump into today's episode hopefully you guys enjoy it. if you do please smash like really helps out the channel subscribe if you're new and as always let's jump into today's episode <laughs> Inevitable, unavoidable parts of life make you uneasy. Some might say death is inevitable, and yet here I am, the perfect picture of health and vitality. You make some glib throwaway line about death as though it means nothing to you. That's what I said, set up. Why else surround yourself with immortals if not to avoid the agony of loss? I hope it's a long time before I'm proven right. <laughs> Oh, here we go, here we go, lads, yes. Fucking get in there, mate. <laughs> get in there. I'm so excited, mate. Imagine getting that. Another, what is it? A vampire couple, mate. We've got Elena and Damon. Well, we did have. Now we get vampire. Ah, oh, Camille, mate. And uh, Klaus. I'm really excited. I, I love I love Camille. I think she's great because she tells him how it is. And her best trait was kind of that she was a human and she was still willing to do it. But, you know, she's not dead getting. Tell me what happened. The moment you know he is in love with you, you will drink this blood of mine, and then you will slit your own throat. <sighs> I die. She will pay for her actions. I swear to you. This is good. This is good. Now it would have been better if if Aurora died, Camille died, but that's not not happening because she's not the main sire, is she? So Aurora, I, I am right in saying that Aurora can die, Camille stay alive. That's you know, it's if Rebecca dies, they all die. <laughs> Don't cry, Camille, mate. You just upgraded. How is she? As soon as she feeds, her mood will change for the better. Our business today is to finish off the Dumartels. Stay. She will need you, brother. Look, man, if you want me to activate your big bad territory, you're going to have to back up. Give me some space. I do this for you. I get that pendant. Ten chim, man. Let's tell you, well, Rips. Mop, man. Mm. <laughs> I'm not getting that pen. You got it. Hold no him here. You really want to cross the Trimay Witch? What's your plan now? The worry will be the death of you, Marcel. The rest of our plan is already in play. You know what? I've, I've only got... Well, I was going to say, I've only got one wish currently right now in this episode. Is that whatever happens to Vincent, I hope he stays as good of a character that he is now. I hope they don't ruin him with, like, a, a bad storyline or an agenda one or something like that because I think that he is good as he right, as he currently is, the person he is right now. I'm happy. He doesn't need to change. Um, so I hope they don't ruin him. Uh -huh. oh. Yes, Jackson. 
at least you're biting them. I said every single time someone couldn't name it, they'd get bitten. At least he took he got two of them then. Why does everything hurt so much? As soon as you feed, your heightened senses will cease to be painful. And... Oh, imagine. Feed on human blood. This is only ever going to end one way. I deserve this. No one deserves this. I can choose not to feed. I'll be fearing me if she does. Not gonna lie. i will be livid, not fearing. I'll be at the extreme. You're an Obi witch, right? You don't usually bow down to anybody. I said do not talk. You just have to know. What does it feel like to be a backstabbing traitor? <laughs> this is for your ancestors. Hey, see what I mean? This is what I want, mate. Hey. Oh, Elijah. <laughs> Get that handkerchief out. <laughs> You just wanted me to be happy. Get married, have a few kids. I never really got it. But right now, I wish I believed in an afterlife. Now, you want your big bad Saratoga? You're gonna have to go after Tristan because he took it with him after he forced me to activate it. My family's in jeopardy. Your response? That's on you, man. If Tristan didn't have the pendant, then he wouldn't have any leverage over me. The longer you wait, the more you'll suffer. I'm gonna make a super hot corpse, right? Stop it! I will not entertain this kind of talk any longer. I need you. <laughs> Uh, she this can still lick the floor. You. This is about me. I don't know who I'll be. I know. I know you'll be an extension of the person you are now. You'll be strong and, and understanding and brave. It is better I die as someone I'm proud of than live as someone I despise. No, it's better a flawed life lived than wasted rotting in clay. I'm not going to feed. All right. It's tough. I'd, for, I'd force it, me, honestly. I, I know you should respect someone's decision. I know you should respect someone's decision, man, but I couldn't. I, I just couldn't. Because I just couldn't. Like, you've seen it, uh, but you've seen it with Damon, like, I can't wait now, like, you've seen it, the way Damon reacted, obviously, with Stefan, because he turned in without, it, without his wanting to, and then, obviously, you see now that happened, and then Elena as well, it happened to her, and then she didn't like it, and it's happened to Rick, and he didn't like it, do you know what I mean? So it's like, mm, it's a tough one. I mean, I feel like she's got the intentions of not doing it, but it's kind of like jumping in the sea and trying to swim to the bottom and not come back to the surface. Yeah, yeah. natural instincts when you're on, on death's door is to do all you can to save yourself. I feel like that may be what happens. You know, she's right at the very end and then she takes it. I, I, do you know what, right? In terms of me being selfish, I'm going to be absolutely... I've said it, I'm fuming if she doesn't take it. I want someone to force her if she doesn't. Just for my personal... I enjoy coming. I don't want you out of the show. Let's try that. <laughs> the more you struggle, the more wolf's bane get pumped into your veins. It worked me over pretty good. With all the, the wolf's bane in my system, I ain't healing so well. We are gonna get out of here, Jack. I love you. You broke me. And nothing has ever been the same since. How absolutely dull. Oh, pathetic. I suppose it's all relative. <laughs> I've been pondering this moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jackson's dead. <laughs> We're gonna get such a good healer. Gonna get such a good healer. Now I've got to say, mm, I kind of don't mind Jackson gone, but I, I was gonna say I, I kind of like it in battle. Like and he's kind of like in battle here, but he's tied up and he's been drained out. I would kind of like it, like if he was there, do you know, when he was in the woods and he's like bang, 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 and he killed like ten of them and they're going after Haley and he's still bye bye, he's diving all over him, wolfing him, killing him. Do you know what I mean? And Haley gets away and he dies then. It's like. It's a decent death, that. Do you know what I mean? Like, the guy's tr gone out like an absolute warrior. Where here, he's kind of, like, you know, been drained, and then he's just been weak, and he's just, boom, took out. So, I mean, I, I feel like Jackson could have had a better death, to be honest. Um, and let's say he's had a great wedding, you know, got one of those memorable moments, always had a fantastic wedding. It was really nice. I loved it when they went up the stairs and that. I do give I give hate on ja Jackson, but he's not as bad as, obviously, I've moaned. He's, he's not too bad. Some compelled tourists. He loves this. Oh, it's a heart. Who? Jackson. Uh, Haley's a follow. How uh, good's this episode, mate? I'm hoping Haley has an amazing season, mate. She's already had a good one. I hope that this just excels at her next level. I was so selfish. I never met anyone who was always there for me. <gasps> but I will make them suffer for this. There's all I hear. Get in there. I will make all of them suffer. <laughs> I cannot wage war if I am worried about you, and I will not entertain any thought of letting you die. Typo negative. You'll learn to love it. I will never forgive you. Mm. I'll never forgive myself if I let you die. 
Two original vampires and two powerful witches against an army of miscreants. But before we rush into battle, let's keep in mind that Tristan may be the very foe to lead you to your doom. Brother, perhaps you should stay. And what kind of father would I be if I didn't fight? As long as Tristan Dumartel has the Saratura and your baby's mama, the advantage is all his. I'm gonna need something that belonged to his sister. His head, mate. Get a sister's head. <sighs> don't actually, don't kill Aurora. Hey, <laughs> mate, that was so good. I'm, su I'm surprised that you're not trying to kill her. I was once denied the right to die with dignity. I grew to hate the one who took that choice away from me. All things considered, that's the nicest thing anyone's done for me all day. You can starve, or you can choose to risk what remains of your life to help me. It's interesting. Do you know what? The, the way I see the Camille situation is okay. I respect that she don't want to transition into a vampire. But it's like me saying to her yesterday, before it happened, just jump off a cliff then and kill yourself. Because that is pretty much, you know, like, she would say, well, I would want to do that, I want to stay alive. Do you know what I mean? And she's in this the exact same position now. She's, she's, she is alive. She's alive. Yeah, okay, she could be alive as a vampire, whatever, but she is alive and she's choosing to kill herself. Like, I don't know. It's, the way I'm trying to say it, it might not become... A, she has a chance to just live, and she's choosing to choose to basically just die. Yeah, and you know she wouldn't have done that yesterday. So why is she doing that today? Just because she doesn't want to be a vampire, but she doesn't know the person that she'll be as the vampire. It's a known unknown. You know, you get those like you know you're gonna be one, but you don't know how it's gonna be. Could be a good one like Caroline. I think Caroline, at most of the time, I would say ninety five percent of the time, Caroline is under control. Don't really see her attacking people. Don't really, you know, she she does even when she had her humanity off. Yeah, she was still quite good. She had it all under control. But then people were jumping in the way, and she was reacting a little bit then. But apart from that, she is a good vampire, and Camille could easily be one of those. You know, you don't have to be the ripper side that like um. Stefan turns out to be so I don't know like I feel like she should take it and just see how it goes I would much rather take it and see if I like it and then kill myself than just choose never to do it and just die anyway because then it's kind of like I say any other day in your life you might as well have just ended it if you touch a hair on her head you will meet us at Patrick's dock the warehouse we exchange Aurora for Haley and the Saratura double the dosage of wolfsbane makes certain that she suffers and once i know aurora is safe i'll order the strix to descend en masse do you love some good confidence even under pressure he's still confident i can channel you add your power to mine and we'll see made your bet with the enemy i see membership has its privileges Haley marshall kenner only slightly worse for wear now where's my sister she lives I'm afraid he's working on a counter spell. If you're tempted, argue, consider the numbers. You came for me. Always. Right, oh, he compelled us to do something. Oh, she can walk free. Oh, I'll let Klaus kill him. Oh, God, that was such a twist. The Saratura creates an impenetrable boundary. What are you waiting for? Take them now! We are ancient vampires, Elijah. Each of us almost as strong as you. Most of you will die in the process, and for what? You do realize he engineered absolutely all of this purely to satisfy some petty grievance. The only danger here is the choice that you must make. It's done. The moment's passed. Marcel's a leader. He's already showing it. Look, he's leading her. Stand down. You will not abandon me. It's a shame it has to end like this. May the ghosts of our fallen keep you company. And that was good. See, Marcel's smart. He's already showing he's the leader of them already. I know Iris, like, but, well, now secondary, second in command. But he made the smart move. She was going to attack, and it's not the right place, man. Like, you can't act impulsively. That is a move that Klaus usually makes, and Elijah was calculated before. He's like, no, no, we've got to do it this way. And, you know stopped him from acting uh, impulsively. An impulsive decision is something that Aurora would do. She would act without thinking about the consequences. Marcel stood there, mate. We don't need to lose all these guys, you know? Like, we'll, we'll step back, you know, another day. We'll plan it. We'll get it again. Plan B, you know, this is plan A. Didn't work. Let's go for plan B. You know, what can we do? How can we get him out? How can we take them down as well? Even though I don't want any of them, he's, he's trying to just play his part, in not he? He was smart. 
Now, Camille, are you in it? Are you out? Have you took the blow? Have you not? Come on, man. Can't be teasing me. Got to take it. Do I love what, um, what is it, Freya and uh, Thingy done? Vincent, get in there. Yes, I do. See what I mean? Look at this Vincent, mate. Way better. Helping. Team player. That's what I love, mate. Vampires helping, getting helped by witches who are actually on their side. Absolutely love it. Where are you going? Are you so eager to die? I'm already dead. Well, at least let me thank you. My choice in this is the only thing I have left, and no one is taking that away from me. You need to get that. Camille, I'm begging you. Do the right thing, Camille, man. I won't let her die. If you care for her, you will let her choose. So this is to be my end. You are going to the bottom of the ocean. <sighs> where you will drown. What have you done with my sister? Sure you, her death will be spectacular. You took a very good man from this world. And as you rot, remember my face. Because it's going to be the last one that you ever see. <laughs> Haley's so good this season. It's literally so good. Dead girl leaving soon to be dead flowers at her dead brother's grave. I called you here. And I figured you wouldn't be judgy no matter what I choose. Monsters and the lunatics running around. It's still a better place with you in it. It's amazing what happens when you stop fighting what you are. Oh, and embrace your true self. If I stuck around, I could continue what he did. I would have the strength to make a difference. It's a good outlook. <laughs> there you go, darling. Get in there! Fucking get in there, mate. Quite excited. Now, she could become a bad vampire. This is what I'm saying now. I know I've just done a fist pump. Get in there! But I'm saying she's a bad vampire now. And we're going to spiral out. We're going to get the crazy side. And it's going to be fun. <laughs> it is going to be fun, mate. Oh, I want her and Klaus to be together so much. Uh, but... Yeah. If she wants to be a good vampire and help the city, that is that is the best way to spend your vampirism. Personal opinion, do good in the world, you know, you got you can live forever, so why not make it a better place? Your uncle was trying to do that, you can do it. I was thinking that last episode, you know, do you know when Klaus was sitting down and he was speaking to that police officer and he compelled him to do something? And it was kind of like therapy when he was saying to it, he was being a therapist, you know, you don't see good in yourself, but other people do. And it doesn't matter, obviously, that you don't see it because you brighten everybody's day around you. And all she needs is all spirits around you to know that, obviously, that you're lifting everyone up. And all she needs to do is focus on that. You know, you might not feel good right now, but everybody else is loving it that you're around. So, like, focus on how much you benefit others. And in my head, I was thinking, do you know what? Wouldn't it be sick if you had a vampire therapist who just sat there and every time someone would come in with problems, you could cure it and you could make everything better. That is what I was thinking. And now I'm excited. But I do think that she's going to spiral and be a bad one. We, we pushed on it a few times. There's a dark side of her. I want her to go after Aurora. I actually do. Now, if Aurora kills her, I'd be fuming again. But still, that is what I want to happen. Back inside enemy lines, huh? I hardly think we're enemies ourselves. If I had known that they were going to go after Haley, I would have warned you. To the devil in the deep blue sea. That's good, mate. No coordinates this time. She was drugged to a stupor and confined by your spell. Lucian. Oh, Lucian. Me I forgot about Lucian. I'm not here anymore. I'll meet you. Rusted in a future car. I'm not here I was thinking, did no one ever find these bodies just drifting in the water? Till death do us part. Be sat there, blood all over your face, all down your gown and everything. I helped myself to the Michelson family blood stash. A million stars exploding in my mind all at once, like nothing I have ever felt before. She looks good, mate. She looks dominant. I can think now. Ah, oh, is how much she wants him. She looks good, mate. Crazy girls are the sexy girls, mate. That's why Harley Quinn is the best. Ah. Oh. I can't wait. Honestly, these two episodes have been... Oh, I'm giving a clap to him. I'm giving a clap to him. Fantastic writing, ladies and gents. Literally, it's been so good. So much has gone on in these last two episodes. It has been absolutely amazing. Now, I'm so happy that she's a vampire, and I think that she's going to be a bad one. <laughs> literally, I don't care, man. you got bad boy Klaus, bad boy Kami. You know, let's get in there. That, that's literally it. I would... Uh, would be so good. I have a king of the throne, an absolute savage, and a queen of the throne, an absolute savage as well. Like, two people stood there, blood all over him, crowns on, reigning above everyone, just pure dominance. This is what I want from these two. That is what I want. 
Or you could give it maybe with Elijah and Haley now that Jackson's died. Sadly, RIP. Healer is an MVP, most improved player of the season, mate. Literally. She's really good. She's literally doing so good. I'm loving her acting. I'm loving the character progression. We had a good season one. All right, season two halfway. Dipped at the very end. I literally hated it. And then, boom, shot right up like a rocket, mate. I'm absolutely enjoying her. Where's Davino? After off in this series, aren't we? No longer getting no paychecks. Where's Josh? He's not getting those paychecks either. F them off. You know, Jackson, see ya. Gone as well. Mad. It's exciting. Loads of stuff going on. It's been, ah, oh, it's been so good. Now, I'm assuming maybe, I know like mid-season would be episode 11, but I, I'm going to call around here was the mid I, I reckon this was the mid-season finale, even though it doesn't make sense 11 would be. These two episodes have been too good for it to be two random episodes, you know. I think it would have enticed people in. So I can't, honestly, I can't wait to watch more. That's how much it's dragging me in. That is going to wrap up today's video. Thanks so much for clicking on my channel today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Who's excited for Cammy being a vampire? I am definitely. I know. I mean, I never expected it two episodes ago, but now I've got it. I'm loving it. I did not want it to go at all. I was 50 50 whether Klaus should force her to do it or not. You know, like, because selfishness wise for me and Klaus, I was, I was saying, yeah, realistic wise, I counted it by saying that it does need to be kind of her own decision because we've seen it when people are forced and they don't really want to be the vampire then they, they, first of all they get some resentment against whoever's turned them and second of all they don't really like it do they we've seen it except for damon he absolutely loves being a vampire now he, he literally like it's his favorite thing you know he loves the feed he loves the chase he loves all the abilities you know the hearing the speed everything you know how his um emotions are heightened um the you know he loves being a vampire. Now, some people adapt to it. At first, he didn't, and he blamed Stefan, didn't he, for years. He literally... And they've always kind of had... I don't know. Even though I'm saying that he loves it, Damon, uh, he kind of does have a kind of resentment towards Stefan for doing that to him. You know, he condemned him to a life, you know, a lifetime of misery because of those actions. Um, and then, obviously, we've seen it. Elena, she transitioned, didn't really... She didn't really do it by choice. She was dying. She had to, you know, and it was interesting. It was good as well. It was a get in there moment, the same as Camille's. And then uh, she didn't like it. It transitioned back. We had a lyric as well, forced by Esther. He come back. He didn't like it. He went across Mystic Falls, you know, like with Marcos. He lost his powers, come back. He's enjoying it again. So, you know, many people that have actually transitioned over don't really like it. People like Josh, actually, he enjoys it. People like Caroline excelled, you know, it's made her life so much better. Even Catherine said it to her, you know, when she was going round in a circle, when she was dying. Yeah, you, you know, we can't say nothing, mate. You, I've made your life so much better. True, true story. Some people just excel and love it. I'm hoping that Camille's one of those. I kind of thinking that she's going to be a bad one. I think she's going to be a bloodthirster. Maybe she's a ripper. I don't know. No, I don't know. Is a ripper somebody you just got? Right, this is my question. I clearly know what Stefan is a ripper. He goes around and he kills people and he rips people's head off. But what would you call somebody who's just like absolute thirsty for blood as well, but not a savage as Stefan? So say like, if Camille has a blood addiction, she just wants to go around and just drink, 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 drink constantly. But she doesn't really have to kill people as, you know, and she doesn't rip the heads off. But she's consistently a blood blood addict. Would she be a ripper because she's always attacking people? You know, again, it'd be an interesting question to ask. So, I mean... I'm really excited. Can't wait to see how our character progresses. Is a relationship going to be with Klaus going to be affected at all or not? Or is it just going to be excelled and improved, mate? Because both of them now are vampires and they can do what they want to whoever they want with no real consequences. Like I said, I want them to be the two king and queen on top of the throne with the crowns, with the dress, with the blood all over him, dominant. And uh, I'll be all for Jackson. Uh, sorry. Haley being with Elijah now because Jackson sadly passed away. You know, I like I've never been a massive unreal jackson fan team player you know like get in there jackson you're the best you're the best but and he did get me most dislike last season because you know him and Haley, they were doing some bad decisions but i feel like his death would have been much better if he died in battle in a war in a fight even with klaus with elijah anyone protecting Haley or hope would have been really good kind of did that like he took a few out he bit a few then he went down, Haley got taken, but then he was tied to a chair when he ultimately died and he couldn't really defend himself. And then that is why it's not the best of deaths, in my opinion. Someone like him who's actually quite strong, I would like it. I would like a death. I don't mind that he's gone. I would just like it to be a little bit better. One where 
when he was fighting Klaus and Klaus was about to kill him, but I thought he was going to stop anyway and Haley come and saved him, you know, that would have been an okay death because he died in battle and he was fighting for something against himself and he had a chance. Well, he didn't have a chance. They come in, shot darts at him while they're all vampires as well. So first of all, they're rapid, they got super strength, super hearing, they used weapons as well to take him down, and then they bled him, like, kind of, like, with Wolfsbane, made him even weaker, and then he just walked over and ripped him out. That's a crappy, like, from, from the Strix, it's a crappy move, that. Literally, no alpha play at all. Literally, you're just using everything. I mean, I suppose it's a smart play, but, you know, I, I, I expect better in terms if you're going to try and assassinate someone. Haley's reaction was amazing. Can't wait to see what she does. You know, this face is the last face you're going to see. Hopefully, it's the last face. He goes in the water. Someone gets him out. Haley comes after him. Boom, mate. Takes his heart out. That would be amazing. Like I said, Haley's having a, such a good season. Cammy's having a good one. I'm really loving Vincent. Like I said, I hope he doesn't become a vampire hater and stays true to his character right now because this Vincent, I really enjoy. This one here. Don't have to change him. Don't have to improve him. Let him stay steady. Helping Camille. You know, helping. Yeah, okay, he's the region or whatever. And they're trying to force him. But he helped everybody today. He's really good. I really like him, to be honest. I don't want his character to change at all. I think that he's just perfect. Just the way he is. So, let's see how that goes. But... I do actually want Davina back in the show now. Like I said, I'm, nah, I'm not really a massive Davina fan, but she doesn't need this long of absence. Since losing a Regency or whatever you want to call it, it's been like four episodes, three, four episodes, and I feel like it's time to get her back in. Get under Vincent's wing. She was a good witch. She was strong. She just wasn't good in that position. She only become regent because she wanted to save Cole. That didn't happen. And then she tried to adapt and be someone that she's not. And she didn't really like it. And people was going after her. Do you know what I mean? Like, she tried it. Didn't work. She's strong anyway. She would be a good VP. Sort of like friend. Help everybody out. And that's where I think she would shine. You know, Vincent and her. Just a, a bit under the ladders. And then they could just go off. And then you have Freya as well. Just like a dome on top of everyone. Because Freya is really good. So thanks so much for clicking on my video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please smash the like. It really helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers guys.